30 years later, it remains the worst mass shooting in Jacksonville history. And starting tomorrow night, a local college is hosting a play to honor the victims of the GMAC massacre. This is footage from 1990 when a man shot and killed nine people, hurt others before then turning the gun on himself at the facility on Bay Meadows Way. Action News Jack's Russell Colburn joins us live now at FSCJ. Russell, the director says there will be added security there for this show. Yeah, they say they're not taking any chances. And as this show depicts, this is the world we live in. Just about an hour and a half, they'll have their final rehearsal here at the Wilson Center. The show itself runs tomorrow to Sunday, and it costs $10 to get in. But here's another look at the footage from June of 1990 at the General Motors Acceptance Corporation on Bay Meadows Way. James Edward Pugh walked into the company that repossessed his car and opened fire. He killed nine people and injured others before turning the gun on himself. Until Pulse, it was the worst mass shooting in the state of Florida. The play is called The Repossession of James Edward Pugh, Mass Shooting in Bay Meadows. It explores the genesis and aftermath of the shooting through the eyes of the people who lived it. The writer tells me he was inspired to put this together after the Parkland School massacre. So he spoke with survivors, first responders, and people who knew the killer. It does not depict the actual uh, event. It does not, there's no, there's no violence in uh, the play at all. The vast, vast majority of the play is the words of uh, people who were connected to that day. And we will actually be back here for a behind the scenes look at rehearsal a little later on. But meantime, not everyone is pleased with this play. I spoke with a survivor of the shooting who worries that it just glorifies the killer. You'll hear from him all new at 10. Live at FSCJ, Russell Colburn, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.